there are varying degrees of loss. There's one where, you know, your house burns down. There's one where your street burns down. And then there's one where your neighborhood burns down. And it, with each one of those scenarios I described, the cost per square foot will skyrocket due to surge pricing and lack of labor and materials. What I'm feeding down, I can't win. For a strong cup of coffee, and I tune in. I'm waking on up, Java with Jim. I now I know my destiny can begin. Yeah. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another exciting episode of Job with Jim. My name is Jim Meyer, broker associate at Remax Gold. Now you have a friend in the real estate business. I'm joined with my good buddy, Jim T. Chung, the walk star. Now you have a friend in the publicity business. We've got Jim Leapy Esquire. I have sent him a lot of clients. None of them have gone to jail. Today is another very, very important episode because insurance is at the forefront of everybody's mind. I, well, we're all thinking about O.J. Simpson and, and wondering how bad he's rotting in hell. But other than that, we are thinking about insurance. So, Greg Zeman, thank you so much for stopping by. Jim, Felipe. And before we, hey, before we get on, uh, yeah. hold up your mug right there. Yes. What is in that mug today? Okay. First of all, this is uh, was given to me by Brenda Eddy at uh, Fidelity Title. So thank you, Brenda. Um, I'm drinking. I I don't know what I accidentally put in here. It's probably some kind of medication because I'm slow. I can't finish a sentence. I'm stuttering. I can barely think. So the only thing I could do right now for a job would be. President of the United States. Um, Jim Filippi, could you ask Greg, do you have a question on your mind? I do. Is it possible to be underinsured or overinsured? And if so, how do I know and fix that problem? Yes, it is. Uh, both directions on that one, Jim. So to be underinsured, uh, sometimes people are looking for just the the cheapest option, right? The lowest possible uh, price at the bottom line. And what that may mean is, is maybe, you know, to rebuild a home in your area, it could be 250 or $300 a square foot. So, you know, for example, if your home insurance policy is insuring you for $200 a square foot and you suffer a total loss, you know, you're, you're going to be very upset uh, when uh, the contractor bill comes in because they are not going to extend the coverage beyond what you have. So there's no perfect exact science to how much you, you need in terms of, of building coverage. Uh, but a good place to start is speak with a, a general contractor in your area and ask him, ask him or her you know, what would you charge me or what would you uh, assess a bid to rebuild a, a home like mine in my area? And they'll give you some numbers and that'll help you to decide. But, you know, there, you can never know exactly how much to be because there are varying degrees of loss. There's one where, you know, your house burns down. There's one where your street burns down. And then there's one where your neighborhood burns down. And it, with each one of those scenarios I described, the cost per square foot will skyrocket due to surge pricing and lack of labor and materials. So there's no perfect science to say it's going to be $317.14, but you would definitely want to work with a general contractor in your area to ask. And that way you can maybe train against or line it up with uh, your current homeowner's policy to determine, are you adequately insured? Uh or overinsured, which you said, uh, you asked that as well. I don't see that as much in my business, but sometimes um, I will advise a client that, you know, I, I let them know like, hey, you know, the going rate usually in your area is around 400 a square foot. So sometimes it's okay to be overinsured. It's always good to have too much than not enough as the old saying goes. Um, so I do see it at times, but I would say uh, with the clients that I've worked with over my years, I sometimes find people to be more underinsured rather than overinsured, as you alluded to. Wonderful. Jim Chong, do you have a follow-up question? No, I think those are really good uh, statements, Sarah, and thank you for addressing it. And people just need to be thinking um, about um, whether they're underinsured or overinsured. So thank you. Okay, we're going to see you guys again tomorrow. Will you guys come back tomorrow? Or Definitely. Just...